What is going on, everybody? Welcome for the first time or back to another DLJ Works video. And today, what we're going to discuss will tools such as Bubble replace programmers, coders, whatever you want to call them, here in the near future? Or are these tools going to speed up the process? Stick around for that right after the intro. All right, I was on my phone watching a video and then I got an advertisement for this tool called Bubble. All right, this is my first time ever seeing this ever in my entire life. And I was intrigued by it because I immediately thought that the, here's a recurring question that keeps coming up. Will artificial intelligence, will I as a human being in the next several years become irrelevant in terms of creating technology? Will programmers and coders, whatever the case may be, designers, be out of a job just like the cashiers and hamburger makers at McDonald's right now who are being replaced by kiosks? And the jury's still out on that. I don't have an answer for that question. All I know is, is that technology is continuing to exponentially grow at, at rates that is just unfathomable at this moment in time. That window just keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And I, I think the, the, the rate just doubles every single year. So the next five years, what we saw in 10 years, just the recent 10 years that we just went through, the next five years are going to be just twice as advanced. So we're going to just see things coming to fruition that we probably never even thought possible. So it's just even hard to imagine right now. But at this moment in time, what I've seen is that I've seen people who are really skilled programmers be able to leverage and use their skill sets to create more tools, more online tools to create more technologies. That's the direction that I actually noticed and see people who are pro experienced programmers and designers um, go in terms of creating things for the web, for devices, etc. So I think that's the direction that we're going to be going right now. So you as a developer, you shouldn't be concerned if you're going to have a job replacement. I see this as just an opportunity for you to get faster, for you to get better, for you to build technology, all right, for other people, for other users, because I believe it. I mean, I guarantee you there are people out there, though you have things like this being created, you're going to have people still out there who want to focus primarily on the main things for their business that they need to. Let's just take a simple YouTube creator. All right. A YouTube creator may actually need an, an application, but they don't they probably want to focus just on making videos and filming and and doing all those other things. And they may, may even be outsourcing editors and, you know, all those things, special effects people in order to make their videos come into fruition while they just focus on the actual messaging of the video. And then sooner or later, if their brand is growing bigger, they're probably going to want an application for their audience, but they're not going to be the ones focused on building it. So you as a developer, which I think the title should, you should change from calling yourself a developer to an actual technology creator. So the more that people are going to need these things and technology continues to advance, you're a technology creator now because you're going to use any tool necessary by any means necessary to make sure that you can get the technology out there for the user as fast as possible. And that's what these tools, I believe they're going to do. They're going to make the jobs of designers and developers a lot easier who are able, who actually know how to leverage these things and be able to produce um, certain applications at a rate for their, their customer base that we just never seen before. And we know that going on websites such as Fiverr and, and any other open marketplaces for freelancers are going to have those, you know, Xcode developers for, for iPhone and, you know, your Android developers and, and so on who need, who charge, are, who charges like a very expensive amount of money in order to get the applications developed. But you, if you know how to utilize and leverage tools such as this, and create a really sophisticated application because I, I think the jury's still out and, and people who are really sophisticated and experienced using code may see something like this and laugh and say, oh, you can't create an advanced application using something like this. <laughs> they may get on their high horse, get their little like, their menacing voice, their be diabolical scheming, looking <laughs> looks on their face thinking that this is this is a joke, this is child's play, but it's not. If you can actually create a very sophisticated application, something just as advanced and looks just as good as somebody that just deals directly with text code using a tool like this, you'll be in a better position to actually continue to develop a customer base, base excuse me, at such an alarming rate that just has never been seen before. If you know how to leverage these tools, because that's what they are, they're tools. So if you are a native 
an experienced programmer, you'll be able to take that expertise and just create these same types of tools that um, maybe just middle of the road developers and middle of the road technology builders just want to use in order to get the products out there to their customer base as fast as possible. All right. So even for me, for myself, I don't focus on just being this this super advanced code or anything like that. I like to create technology and I like to do so by any means necessary by whatever tools that I can use. So something like this gets me excited because I have yet to actually build an iPhone application. That's not really my focus. I focus on a lot of front end technologies, just a native in a browser using HTML, CSS, some JavaScript, some um, some PHP, wherever necessary. You know, I, I'm experienced with using WordPress and that's been my wheelhouse. But if I can get into something like this where I can maybe build you know, a, a gaming application or uh, an application that's just going to solve somebody's like issue that's going to bring their ideas into fruition. Now I'm very excited about this. So the point that I'm trying to get at is that you'll be able to develop these applications within half the time of maybe somebody that's taken like years to develop their expertise, their knowledge base, their wisdom in developing code, just writing just straight up text code and um, you'll be able to catch up with them and be able to do the same things that they're doing within half the time. And I, I very much so could be wrong. I may have somebody that's, you know, been coding for years, just laughing at me and thinking, I don't know what I'm talking about, but this is the direction, this is the observation that I'm making. And this creates a, a prime opportunity for you in order to be able to take your sales skills, if you have any sales skills, your marketing skills, gather a customer base and say, to say to yourself that I could build the technology that you're looking for in half the time of somebody that's taken like 10 years, 20 years to learn advanced coding and try to build the application for you right now, who's charging an even expensive, a highly expensive amount of money just to develop the same applications for you and within half the time. So yeah, you, you'll be able to charge um, a less, least of, you'll be able to charge a cheaper price, cheaper rate, for those people and develop the application that they're looking for within half the time with the tools such as this so uh, take that for how it's worth um if you want to be that that coding purist who just only believes that you should just be hand coding by scratch i was i was like that at one point in time too until i got on wordpress and i was like oh my god i, I should have been using this a long time ago instead of just being a hand coding purist thinking that you have to develop everything from scratch it's all about right now at this moment in time you have to be able to it's all about speed you have to be able to keep up and produce at a very fast rate and any tool that you can use to help you be more productive and to get the products out as fast as possible that's the direction that i would encourage everybody to go to at this point in time because i was a person that was going to be left out in the dust with my coding purist um, ideologies so let's kind of take a look go through this website by again this is not a sponsor video like I said, I just saw this website, this application or whatever you want to call it via a, a YouTube ad and I got intrigued. So I just wanted to share what I saw and my thoughts in terms of where this is going to go within the next several years. So here we go. This looks like this is the actual like workbench uh, where you can actually create and plan and see how you want to design your application. So the user interface looks very simple, something that, that's very traditional right now that, that follows the user interface trends is going on at this moment. It says full functionality, no code. Bubble lets you create interactive multi-user apps for desktop and mobile web browsers, including all the features you need to build a site like Facebook or Airbnb. Build out logic and manage a database with our intuitive, fully customizable platform. This gets me really excited. If I, later on, if I wanna to decide to actually build applications for people, this is a tool that I would definitely use. So. Pixel perfect designs. Bubble offers total design freedom without any knowledge of HTML or CSS. Create mobile friendly layouts and dynamic content for a polished product. Now, let me stop right there and say this. If you know HTML and CSS, you know any programming, you have any programming skills, but you're like, I don't feel like writing a code for this. Uh, I'm just going to use this. See, from my experience, having an understanding, a foundational understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript makes the, your, your understanding of the logistics, the, the logic, the actual use of these applications a lot more effective than somebody who just doesn't have any coding experience whatsoever I, I've, I've had this like it's it's my skills my knowledge base of html css and javascript has been transferable when i use websites like wix and, and weebly and, and wordpress it's 
and, and I'm able to actually ask certain questions that the average user who was just trying to build an application without any code base wouldn't think to ask. And that's the advantage of having that hand coding foundation. So that's another reason too, why you should also just learn the, the fundamentals. The fundamentals are the one, things that, the one thing that's not gonna change when you learn um, the basics of coding a, a certain language that you're trying to learn. You learn the fundamentals and that's what's also gonna be transferable and keep you for, uh, and keep you, how should I say, termination proof. So you can be always, so you can always have and add value to the marketplace at any given time. Understanding the fundamentals will definitely keep you termination proof. And if you're trying to actually not get hired with a job or anything, you're just trying to be solo and be a freelancer and have your own clientele, your own customer base, that also too will give you the confidence necessary because you're already 10 steps ahead of the average person who's just trying to jump in this without any sort of technology, technological foundations set in place, all right? So uh, I'm not gonna continue to go into the in depth on this website. I would encourage you to go ahead and check it out yourself. Again, I'm not sponsored by Bubble, but anything that I find that I feel like is going to make you a more effective and proficient programmer, coder, designer, whether you're aspiring or a beginner, I'm sorry, whether you're expiring or you're experienced, I wanna share that as quickly as I possibly can. Well, that's going to be it. The website is bubble.io. I hope you got something out of this video. If you have any questions or comments, let's keep the conversation going below. Please support the channel now. I don't have a Patreon, but you can support me through uh, PayPal or my Cash App link down below if you're finding you're getting something out of my videos at this moment in time. And maybe you want to just buy me a coffee or something like that. But I'm always here to help and build up other people who are looking to get in the technology field, especially as a person of color. Thanks again for watching. This is Deshaun Johnson for DLJ Works. God bless y'all. I'll see you in the next video.